Hey gamers, get ready to have your minds blown with Frontiers of Pandora, a game that's rewriting the playbook on how we experience the Avatar universe. This isn't just another title on the shelf. It's a game changer, literally merging the epic storylines of the Avatar films with the thrill of gaming. Ubisoft's massive entertainment has pulled off something insane here. They got exclusive access to the scripts of the future Avatar movies. Can you believe that? It's like they're crafting this game with insider knowledge from the movie gods themselves. So are you as pumped as I am to dive deep into this? You've got to stay on top of this, folks. Mm -hmm. Smash that subscribe button on the Bit Battalion channel. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on any content about this masterpiece. Let's uh, ride this wave together into the heart of Pandora's jaw-dropping world. Oh, folks, let me tell you, having access to the future Avatar movie scripts for Frontiers of Pandora isn't just cool, it's a game changer. We're talking about taking this game's story to the next level. It's not just about sticking to what we already know from the Avatar universe. It's about weaving in fresh, yet to be seen narratives from the upcoming films. And so imagine playing a game where you're not just retracing steps from the movies, but you're actually stepping into new territory, exploring character arcs and world elements that perfectly sync with what's coming up in the cinema. This kind of deep narrative integration. It's like finding a rare gem in the gaming world. And for fans like us, it's a dream come true, promising a richness in storytelling that we've been craving. Trust me, this is the kind of stuff that makes a franchise legendary. All right, gamers, get ready to be absolutely mind blown by the world of Pandora and Frontiers of Pandora. We're talking about a setting so lush, so vibrant, it's like stepping right into a high DF dream. The visuals, top notch. The gameplay, immersive doesn't even start to cover it. Picture this as you're wandering through this insanely detailed world packed to the brim with all sorts of exotic flora and fauna. It's like they crank the dial on realism to the max. And the best part, you get to explore this massive world on your very own Ikrin. Yeah, those dragon-like creatures from the movies. Soaring through Pandora skies is nothing short of epic. It's like the ultimate freedom with breathtaking views that'll have you pausing just to take it all in. So, but wait, there's more. Interacting with this wild world isn't just a look, don't touch deal, you get right into the thick of it. Gathering items isn't just a click and done. Oh no, it's a full on mini game where you feel every twist and turn with the DualSense controller. You're like a space age forager, um, feeling the resistance as you pluck items from plants and, and hacking, it's not just pressing a button, you know. You're in a race against time, matching trigger pressures, navigating through mazes. It's these details, these touches, that make Frontiers of Pandora not just a game, but an experience. So buckle up because this is one wild ride through Pandora you won't want to miss. In Frontiers of Pandora, the combat system is a major draw, offering a diverse and adaptable experience that caters to different play styles. Whether you're a fan of sneaking around and silently taking down enemies or going in guns blazing, this game has you covered. Now let's talk about the arsenal at your disposal. Ah, you've got the classic knife bow, perfect for those who love to keep it stealthy. It's silent, deadly, and lets you feel like a true hunter of Pandora. But if stealth isn't your thing, no worries. The game's got you with those high-tech human assault rifles. These bad boys bring the firepower for when you need to make a loud statement. And here's where it gets even cooler. Scanning your enemies, this isn't just your average point and shoot combat, it's about strategy. By scanning, you can spot the weak points on your enemies, especially those tough mech type foes. Hitting these weak spots is like finding the chink in the armor, making your attacks more effective and combat more thrilling. But let's keep it real, the stealth gameplay has had some mixed reviews. Some players are finding the enemy detection and tracking a bit hit or miss. This inconsistency can sometimes throw off your stealth game, leading to some unexpected and maybe even frustrating moments. Despite this, the combat in Frontiers of Pandora stands out for its depth and flexibility, offering a genuinely dynamic experience that's both challenging and fun, whether you're all about stealth or prefer the direct approach. This game has something for every type of player. For more detailed insights and player experiences, you might want to check out gamer forums or reviews where players share their personal combat strategies and experiences in the game. Despite the rich main storyline of Frontiers of Pandora, the game's side quests and exploration elements don't quite hit the mark, especially when stacked against other giants in the open world genre. A major hiccup is the lack of unexpected, emergent gameplay elements during exploration. Players might find themselves roaming vast, visually stunning areas of Pandora, but often these spaces feel more like scenic routes than adventure-filled territories. For example, an exploration journey across floating islands might culminate in finding just a simple piece of fruit and some ski moss. 
this lack of substantial rewards can lead to a feeling of emptiness as the effort put into exploration doesn't seem to pay off with equally gratifying discoveries. This is in stark contrast to games like The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where each exploration venture feels rewarding and contributes meaningfully to the overall game experience. Additionally, while Frontiers of Pandora is not short on side quests, they tend to lack the excitement or sense of discovery one would expect from a high caliber game. The rewards from these quests, mainly resources and skill points, are practical, but they don't capture the wonder or intrigue that makes side quests in other open world games memorable and fulfilling. Titles like Elden Ring have raised the bar high, offering side quests that are as compelling and enriching as their main storylines. In comparison, the side quests in Frontiers of Pandora seem to fall short, failing to add significant depth or enhance the overall gameplay experience in a meaningful way. The expansive map and potential for diverse exploration in Frontiers of Pandora do indeed present an opportunity for an extraordinary gaming experience. However, this potential isn't fully realized due to the lack of substantive content in these areas. While the game excels in delivering a compelling main story and a visually stunning depiction of Pandora, it falls short in the exploration and side quest departments. Improvements in these areas could be hugely beneficial. By infusing exploration and side quests with more engaging content and a clearer sense of purpose, the game could offer a more rounded and fulfilling experience. This would not only make the game more enjoyable, but also align it more closely with the high standards set by contemporary open world games. Frontiers of Pandora is a game that's sparking a lot of buzz, especially for the Avatar fanatics out there. This isn't just another title hitting the shelves. It's a game that's really pushing the boundaries of storytelling by weaving together the rich narratives of the Avatar movies with the immersive world of gaming. The visuals, absolutely stunning. When you step into Pandora, it's like stepping into another world, lush, vibrant, and oh so real. And let's talk about combat. The game gives you options to be stealthy or go all out with guns blazing. The dual sense controller brings a whole new level of interaction that's just so satisfying. But hey, no game is perfect, right? Where Frontiers of Pandora really hits a snag is in its side quests and exploration. It's like there's this huge, gorgeous world out there but it doesn't pack the punch you'd expect in terms of surprises or rewards. Compared to some of the other big names in open world gaming, it, it, it feels a bit like a missed opportunity, the main story, fantastic, but those side quests and exploration moments just don't bring the same level of thrill. So where does that leave us? I'm throwing an eight out of 10 on Frontiers of Pandora. It's a solid game with some serious strengths in narrative and visuals and those gameplay mechanics are top notch. But if it could just beef up those side quests and exploration bits, we'd be talking about a whole new level of awesome. For more deep dives and player insights on this game, you might wanna hit up gaming forums and review sites. There's always a gold mine of info and opinions out there that can give you even more perspective on this wild ride through Pandora.